I am offering for your consideration a 2003 three horse platinum uh, gooseneck living quarter um, with the outlaw conversion. It has um, drop down windows on the driver's side. Um, I'll show you and give you a little tour here. Uh, it has an electric jack. It's original to the trailer. Um, does work. I did. Um, I think I have it all the way. Up. Um, replaced the batteries with Optima uh, batteries a couple of years ago. I have a little board in there to kind of prevent them from sliding around. Um, but those I think are the top of the line deep cycle batteries. Um, I think I replaced those a couple of years ago. Um, the gooseneck is adjustable and we did have it on a 2016 um, bed of a uh, one ton truck or a dually with airbags and it did ride just fine. Um, as you can see, um, the Gross vehicle weight is 15,453, um, and it has your gross average weight rating um, per pound. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and show the full VIN there, but um, it is manufactured 2003. Um, it is a platinum trailer. Um, I do have the one spare on the trailer here and I have a second spare. I made a trip out to California and I wanted to make sure I had a second set. Um, the trailer tires are actual trailer tires. Um, I wanted to get the thickest ply that I could and I believe they're, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe they're 14 ply. For those of you who have hauled, um, you want like the thickest ply that you possibly can get. Um, drop down windows with slides on the passenger side. So I'm gonna take a view of the exterior here. Um, there is an air conditioning. There's a heat strip um, for uh, backup when you have electricity, but there is a propane heater inside. Um, generator is in the back. It does run. Um, it needs a little bit of a tune up or just kind of an adjustment on it right now. And we'll play with that here. Um, there are storage compartments underneath the, the manger. They're a little bit scuffed up just from just average wear and tear. I uh, have a little bucket under there. Sorry, I had let it drip and I can vacuum that out a little bit better. The rest of it I cleaned up really well, but nice storage underneath the mangers. There is not an escape door on this trailer. Um, has the electrical on this side, city water hookup, hot water heater access on this side. Um, let's see here. On the back, we have the um, tack room is on the left, and then obviously the horse compartment is on the right. There is a three saddle rack compartment, a generator on the back. There's a three saddle blanket rack that does swing out. As you can see, there's a little clip to hold on to that. Um, there's a little bucket for brushes and that kind of thing. A vent on the door for exhaust so that you can shut the door while your generator is running. Um, there's plenty of hooks for bridles and all sorts of gear up above. Um, we did replace the fuel filter. Um, let's see here. There is an access to turn the generator on inside the trailer so that you don't have to go out when it's raining. Most of the time I ended up having campgrounds where I did have electrical plug-ins. The trailer does have mats. Um, oh, pardon the jumper cables. We were messing around with it the other day. Um, so... We had let it sit for the winter and needed to get it started up. Um, so I took the mats out. The mats are fully um, covering the floor and they are in very good shape. 
Um, I cleaned out the trailer. Uh, trailer floor is very solid. There's a little bit of staining, but no pitting. Um, I didn't scrub it down completely, but I did hose down um, the entire um, back of the trailer. Um, as you can see, there are drop downs. I'll show you those windows too. Um, there's a little trick to them, um, and they're pretty neat when you drop them down. Uh, front stall has a stud wall. If you want, there are hooks for what everybody uses the front stall for, extra tack and hay and all that good stuff. Um, so nice lining on the doors. The closure on the doors is pretty free. You can actually just slide it Trying to keep them nice and with WD-40. Nice room. It's nice and tall. I think it's like seven foot two at least in the top. So nice and tall for your your bigger horses. Um, I have those tie rings. I'll probably just leave them in there. Um, it's kind of nice for. Um, I just loop a. A lead rope through those and then that way you know the horses have a little bit of room to slide you know um, just a little safety mechanism there and um, nice padding on the walls um, I do have these are little clip, clips that you can hook the dividers into um, so that when you're loading one of the stalls or if you want to kind of give one of your horses a little extra room when you're hauling you can leave that um, positioned in that. Um, the passenger side is stop sides, which is really nice for good airflow. There are lights um, inside the trailer and those do work. It's really nice for when you're coming back here if you happen to use uh, the back of the trailer for a storage unit or a feeding area um, when you're out camping or any of that or um, maybe you're using that at a show, that kind of thing. Um, nice bumper pad at the top for those goofy horses that like to um, come flying out and whack their heads on the back door. Shut those doors here. Um, there are a couple of cosmetic defects on the back bumper. I did not do those. Um, although I have had, you know, my share of like backing learning wobbles. Um, there is a nice, oh, I've got to show you this. This is really awesome. Um, there are nice little doorkeepers here that hold the door open so that when you're loading and unloading, the door doesn't fly open or shut so that that way um, you don't have to have that. To worry about when you're when you've got a goofy one that you're trying to load or unload that kind of thing um let's see here uh nice solid tie rings on the side have not had any issues with any of them busting those off when i've tied to the side of the trailer uh, nice lights on the outside um sometimes those light bulbs do go out i think they're all okay for the moment um running lights and uh, there are outdoor speakers think they were working last fall but sometimes those wires jiggle a little bit going down the road so every once in a while I've had one of those come out um I did have the door handle bust on me oh um mud daubers come free um so I did replace the door handle it comes with brand new keys I did that myself um works very nicely it used to kind of be really sticky oh and the windows have nice slides on them. Oh, and I also wanted to point out that all of the seams are really nice, um, glued, riveted down. Um, nothing is peeling up. It's It was made in 2003 and everything is really nice and solid. Nice, solid welds um, underneath. Um, again, like I said, mud daubers come free. Um, nice spacing on your I-beams, lots of them. Um, it's a really, hefty solid trailer. I had a friend of mine looking at it this weekend and she pointed out that when you step in, it feels solid. You're, you feel like you're in a 
well, I don't want to say brick shit house, but um, anyways, um, you feel like you're in a in a decent place, really. So nice screen door. Kids have not broken the screen door yet, so yay. Um, so um, the uh, conversion inside is an outlaw conversion. You've got the nice soft touch walls. Um, you've got the double screens. Um, I might have to take my hands off um, of the video to show you that. Um, but the nice double um, layer on the blinds. Um, and then lots of lighting. We've got like the cowhide. I do have the knob here. I just need to replace the, um, the bolt behind it. It wiggled loose going down the road kind of thing. Nice wood cabinets, um, nice bunk up a bit up ahead. There is storage behind the bunk behind the bed there. Um, same double blinds. There's a nice fan that has the um, uh, the rain adjustable vent over the bed. Um, nice lighting over the bed with reading lamps. Um, really nice uh, breezeway across uh, with the windows. Um, on the gooseneck. Um, let's see here. The TV is, I think, almost prehistoric. It does not work. Um, but I just left it there to fill the space, essentially. So you'll want to probably get something that's, like, I don't know, modern. Um, kitchen space is really nice. There's a sink there. Um, there is a convection oven slash microwave that is really phenomenal because you can actually bake something in it. Um, there's a propane stove as well. Uh, there is the, the hot water heaters underneath the sink. Um, below the step here is your generator access, your indoor one, the fuse box, um, the couch, which is, um, I think it's real leather. Um, it does fold out and might I add is very comfortable to pass out on, especially if, um, well, I'm an endurance rider. And so sometimes my legs are really sore and, um, I am too lazy to get up in the gooseneck. And so it's a quite, um, beneficial option to, climbing up into the gooseneck when you're really, really lazy and tired after a long ride. Um, plus, if you have guests or kids or anything, it's really nice. Very, um, very easy to put away, except for when you only have one hand because of the camera. Uh, Full-size fridge. I really like the decor in here. Lots of extra lighting. Um, outlet access. I'm going to try to get you a good view. Drawers. Um, plenty of room to put freezer stuff, freezer meals. I've been on several trips over the years and had plenty of room to put lots of food in there. Um, extra closet space. There's your propane um, thermostat. That works really nicely. Um, I've been on trips where it's been very cold and it works very nicely um, and you have the option of plugging in as well and being able to use like an electric blanket as well. Um, there's your heat strip with your air conditioning. Air conditioning works very nicely. It is a little loud for air conditioning but I mean it is a horse trailer after all and gosh you know it's way better than like being in a tent. So um, you have your bathroom I'm going to kind of get you a full view. Okay, so here's your exterior door, your bathroom door. Um, oh, and the flooring, by the way. There is a table insert that goes in. It is stored in the bathroom closet. Um, you have your nice little toilet, um, nice little sink, storage cabinet below, vent for the heater so you don't have to freeze your buns off when you're going into the bathroom in the morning. Um, towel ring. They did it. Oh, nice. I'll clean off the uh, toothbrush marks. I thought my, I thought we got that. Um, nice cabinet um, for storage of your toiletries. 
all sorts of all sorts of room right in there. So um, another another cabinet directly above the toilet. Lots of room in there for storage. A nice towel rack. I've had several people ask me, there is no walkthrough door. However, um, I've done some research online. You can have those added aftermarket. Um, what I'm seeing, if you have it done professionally, um, it runs about $750 is what, is what I'm seeing, um, roughly. Uh, I am negotiable on price. If you are interested in that, and that's just like one of the things you're dying to have, I did survive without one. Um, it was one of the things that I would have changed about this trailer. Uh, by the way, there's a nice shower in here, which is really nice to have if you're on the road. It is no substitute for a house shower, but it is very nice to have when versus um, going into a camp shower um, or a campground shower. Um, but going back to the walkthrough door, um, I've also seen, like if you're a do-it-yourself um, type of person. Um, there's like the uh, Facebook uh, horse trailer conversion groups and I've seen where they will get like uh, camper doors and do it themselves for maybe like a hundred to two hundred dollars and there's some people that um, you know they'll use the existing uh, interior in um, the wall of the, the trailer itself um, and do a really nice job for maybe a hundred to two hundred dollars so that's that's a pretty decent option and if I had thought of that I probably would have done that myself um, because that's a really handy option uh, the water tank is underneath the um, the couch inside um, there's where you would fill up your water tank uh, the awning suffered a random Kansas windstorm, so um, I ended up having it pulled off, but the brackets are still there, so you can add that back in. Um, let's see here. What else can I tell you? It's been a fantastic trailer. Um, great for one to two people. Um, three if you've got to. Um, it's uh, I, If I didn't have to have the bigger one with all the kids, probably would not be selling it. It's been, I, I've had like very little re repair work done on it. Nothing on the body or the axles or any of that. Um, I've had a little work done on the generator. I had the carburetor replaced this last fall. Um, and then I think I had like the fuse box replaced maybe three or four years ago. And that's about all that I have had to have worked on. Um, I've been very satisfied with it and I bought it used myself. Um, if you have any questions, see um, my contact information in the ad. Thank you very much.